Hi, I'm Jill Galloway. I'm an artist educator at the Smithsonian's National Portrait Gallery. In today's open studio lesson, we're going to look at several portraits of Thurgood Marshall. We're going to talk a lot about his biography, and then we're going to do a really great art project based on one of his favorite subjects, the Constitution. This is going to be a really fun lesson. You don't need to have any experience. I'll break it down in simple steps. Okay, let's get started. Thurgood Marshall was born in Baltimore, Maryland in 1908, two days before Independence Day. His mother was a school teacher. His father was employed by the railroad. His father took an interest in law and often took Thurgood to the courthouse to watch trials. Together, they talked a lot about the Constitution and especially the 14th Amendment, which guaranteed equal rights to all citizens. Marshall did well in school, but sometimes found himself in trouble, and his punishment was to memorize the Constitution. That's the inspiration for today's lesson. The supplies you'll need for the lesson are some white paper, a pencil, a sharpie, and red, brown, and blue crayons. Today we're first going to draw the American flag. I'm going to make a curving flag and start by drawing a simple curving line. This will be the top of my flag. There's a box which holds all of our state stars on the left. Draw that in now. There are seven stripes on the top of the flag beside the box and there's six stripes under the box. I'll start with the line along the bottom of the box. There'll be a strip in the middle and three stripes in between. Now we're going to write the Constitution along the stripes. Use all different kinds of types and fonts to make it interesting. And use the Sharpie for your text. Just fill in what you can. You won't be able to write the whole Constitution. And then once you're done writing the words in, go ahead and color the flag. This portrait was created when Thurgood Marshall was a lawyer. Marshall brought 32 cases before the Supreme Court, winning 29 of them. In fact, Marshall has won more cases before the High Court than any other person. He goes on to become the first African-American Supreme Court Justice, where he served for 24 years. Marshall's most famous case came in 1954 and was called Brown v. the Board of Education. This case would end segregation in schools. If you would like to learn more about Thurgood Marshall and take a closer look at the portraits we saw in today's video, you can just go to our website at www.mpg.edu. Thanks again for joining us and we'll see you next time.